Here's my chemoreceptors. So I took it off your list of keywords. You do not need to know about these until we get to the respiratory system, but they are an important trigger for the same reflex. So it makes sense to introduce them here. However, I did take them off of your keywords. Chemoreceptors detect chemicals. And in this case is going to be chemicals related to um, respiration and cellular respiration and metabolic processes. They're located in the aortic arch, just like baroreceptors are. And this is a good place to be able to detect oxygen levels, carbon dioxide, and pH. The regulation of these three things is going to be a big topic of our respiratory chapter. But let's just look at these and how they would stimulate um, our cardiovascular, our, our medullary responses, responses in the medulla, remember. So let's take this and say high carbon dioxide, low oxygen, and low pH. Those might all, all correspond to increased metabolic activity in some tissues, like the tissues of your body. This is going to be detected by chemoreceptors and travel to the medulla. Specifically, this, this scenario would increase our cardio acceleratory region increase vasomotor, this is a sympathetic response here, and decrease the cardio inhibitory, which is associated, associated with parasympathetic. So the result of this would be going on the heart, increased heart rate, increased stroke volume, and increased vasoconstriction. This is going to allow for um, those tissues to get the, what they need is fresh blood, right? Get that waste out of there. Um, the waste being hydrogen ions and carbon dioxide and supply fresh oxygen. I think I want to leave it at that for now. Um, and we will see it again in the respiratory chapter. It's a really great example of the integration between the two. Um, and the trigger for altered cardiovascular function can be blood gases and pH.